So we have the piece. As you can see, we got the divots from the punch that will help guide this through the holes. First thing I would suggest, those, because you're gonna have pieces of shrapnel of, of steel flying around and I don't think anyone would want one of those in the eye. So put those on, keep your earplugs in if you still have them on, because even though this isn't gonna get loud, it's not worth it because the next step is also is gonna get loud again. So it's also, I like the silence. So first thing I, I do is put a little grease on the drill bit. For, someone told me that this helps preserve the sharpness of the bit. I'm not totally sure if I believe it, but it doesn't hurt, and so might as well do it. Next thing you do, get your vice grips. Hold one end of it, because I'm telling you right now, it's gonna be shoot, it's gonna be go that way. Then, just make the hole, then you drill the holes. Okay, as you can see, I got the I got the six holes here. So what are you going to do with the bottom one? Well, because there's going to be more than one lace going through that bottom one, you have to use a big you have to use a big drill bit. This one I'm using right now is a 732. So when that's done, pop that one out. Don't lose it. And then you get your bigger one, which is this one is a 516th. Um, I suggest also it depends on how big of a piece of metal you're using. But I find that 732s is perfect because it allows the it's it's snug against the leather the leather lacing. So again, you get a little oil. oil, get your piece. Turn it on. Now, though, the problem is, is in the back, you have the pieces of where the metal, where the drill pushed through. Again, you're going to have very sharp ends. To get rid of that, you're going to need a counter. This helps push, the, this helps drill it away and allowing so that it, it's not going to be digging into your skin or your clothing. So you pop out the drill bit again, put it away, get the counter. In and in. Lift this, lift the bed so you can get it close. You spin it around. Again, I have vice grips, make sure, because also I forgot to mention that it does get very hot because of the because of the drilling. So to use this, it's probably better, better than to try and hold it with bare hands. And then go up. Back. And there you go. You got got 
no pieces sticking out, you got nothing that's going to scratch up against you. But you still have the sharp ends. This is where you the final this is where the final part comes into play. And I'll show you right now with the grinder. You have your piece. You got the sharp ends still unfortunately and you still got pieces even though you did use a counter to get rid of most of the most of the pointy ends on this thing, you've still got pieces of metal still stuck in on this. So what we're going to do is going to go through a final, a final dulling of the edges in it and all that. So the basic, what I use is a Sears Craftsman grinder and uh, the bristle brush because that actually is, I found to be helpful, very helpful in taking off the edges. So what you got to do is this and hold on tight. got a dull edge now so you don't have to worry about slicing yourself and nothing to cut yourself here I always do both sides so that I can just be extra sure and to double to be overly precautious I admit it um, but it's also though I don't have to worry about anything so now that we got the piece let's go and lace them up together so you have your pieces so what do you do with them besides playing with them well, this is this is the final part of the whole entire operation. First, the thing is you want to get a you want to get some genuine you want to get some lace leather lace. Um, I haven't been able to find any thicker stuff, but if you can find thicker stuff, better. This stuff works, but the problem is though is that it goes through holes, it starts getting frayed, and eventually does rip on itself. So you're going to be so if you can get a better form of lace, get it. So I've learned. So that's one thing that I wish I had. I don't though. So but it will work for this tutorial. What you want to do is pull out a good portion of lacing. That's the problem with this. This is that this is kind of like the one that you have to eye it up and you just got to judge it. Sometimes I, even I've come up short or I've gone too long. So what I would say is longer the better. So what you do is you get your lacing, you cut it off. You got your piece right here. Okay, tie a knot on the end, as so. You get one that, get piece that you like, or you know, first one, whatever you can grab. What you want to do is go through the, t go through the top or bottom. It doesn't really matter. So you slide it through, and you slide. Th then you go through the bottom. Now that you got your first one through, what I find to be good and to help give you support is not to go through the bottom again, but go through the top, almost like a Z, like that. All right, so now you got your first piece. Next, what you wanna do is get your, your next piece. Go through the top again, go through the top, just showing you for example. Okay, now these two are connected. What you gotta do is first make sure that the pieces are connected and then match up the bottom hole and slide it through. As you can see. All right, and then again, go through the top. Slide as much as you can. Slide it all the way through, so you don't have any loose, loose leather. Because if you have loose, then the pieces are going to get loose on them. Are going to get loose, and they're going to fall apart on you. Go through the top again. Go through the bottom, and then all you got to do is just you just got to keep proceeding and go through this con through this through this slow but sure. Slow but constant 